So you just got an iPhone SE. In this video, I show you how to force restart, how to boot into recovery mode, DFU mode, and much more. Check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. So this is the third generation iPhone SE. In this tutorial, you'll mainly need to know about the volume buttons, which is on the left side of the device, volume up and volume down, and the side button, which is on the right side of the device. All right, let's get started. First, simple, how to power off your iPhone SE third generation. Super simple, all you need to do is press and hold this side button on the right side of the phone, continue holding, and then once you see the slide to power off dialog appear, you simply slide like that to power off your phone. And now your phone is off. Now, what if for some reason your side button just doesn't work or maybe it's broken? Well, here's another way to power off. You just go into settings, go to general, scroll all the way down, and you'll see where it says shut down. You just tap shut down, and now it reveals the slide to power off dialog and just slide to power off like that. Now, how to power back on. So you have a blank screen here, press and hold the side button and let go once you see the Apple logo. Now let's talk about how to force restart your iPhone SE. So all you would do is press your volume up, followed by volume down and press and hold the side button. You wanna do that all in quick succession. So let me demonstrate it for you. Quick press of volume up release, volume down release, Press and hold the side button, continue holding the side button like this and continue holding until you notice the screen go black like that and then you can release. Now your Apple logo is gonna come back, it's gonna restart. This doesn't power down your iPhone, it restarts your iPhone as you can see right there. So if your phone locks up or something like that, you may need a force restart. Now let's talk about establishing trust between your computer and your iPhone. And you'll need to do this if you want to back up to your Mac uh, or if you want to enter recovery mode, etc. So just connect with a lightning to USB cable like this and then on your iPhone, you're going to see something pop up that looks like this. It's going to ask you to trust your computer. So all you do is tap trust and then enter your iPhone's passcode. In this case, I'm going to put mine in right here. And now once you do that on your Mac, in the finder, you want to just click on your iPhone and then click where it says trust. So you'll see a, a blue trust button there. Just click on trust. And now you've established a trust between your computer and your iPhone. Okay. So now let's talk about how to enter into recovery mode. But before we even go there, I want to briefly mention find my iPhone, because if you do a restore on your iPhone using recovery mode, but you don't disable find my iPhone prior to doing that, then your phone is still going to be activation locked. So you're going to need to verify with your Apple ID and password one way or the other, right? Either up front or on the back end after you restore your iPhone. So just keep that in mind. So here's how to enter in recovery mode. You press volume up release, volume down release, and then press and continue to hold the side button and make sure you're connected to your computer with the USB to lightning cable. So volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button, continue holding like this and continue holding. Don't let off that side button at all. Continue holding even once your screen turns black. Even when the Apple logo appears, continue holding the side button. And then eventually, you're going to see the connect to computer dialog. Then you can release and now you are in recovery mode. Now, since the iPhone SE third generation just came out, I'm going to need to install an update so that my Mac can properly recognize this device. Since it's brand new, just came out. This is like a little supplementary update. So it recognizes these, this new iPhone basically. But the thing I want you to take away from this is that once you're in recovery mode, you want to open up the finder, find your iPhone in the sidebar under locations. And now you can either update your iPhone or restore your iPhone. If you choose update, it retains all of your data on your iPhone. If you choose restore, it wipes your device, gives you a fresh and clean installation of iOS. So choose wisely. So now let's talk about how to exit out of recovery mode. This is super easy. 
All you need to do is press and hold the side button right here until the connect to computer dialog disappears. Just like that. Now you can release your out of recovery mode. Couldn't be simpler, right? Now let's talk about how to get into DFU mode or device firmware update mode. This is something for advanced users. Chances are you'll never need to enter into DFU mode, but I want to show you anyway. So you press volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button. After 10 seconds, press and hold the volume down button. And then after five seconds, release the side button, continue holding volume down. So again, let's do it. Volume up, release, volume down, release, press and hold the side button, continue to hold the side button for 10 seconds. Now, press and hold volume down while holding the side button, and after five seconds, release the side button like that, continue to hold the volume down button, your screen should stay black. If you see the Apple logo, you didn't do it right. So if your screen stays black, and then you get a pop-up like this, then you know you're in DFU mode. In DFU mode, you only have one option, and that is to restore. There is no update option. It is restore only. So you'll be setting up your iPhone from scratch. Okay, now you're probably wondering, how do I get out of DFU mode? Well, here's how to exit DFU mode. You wanna press volume up and release, volume down release, press and hold the side button, and continue holding the side button until you see the dialogue on your computer go away or until you see the Apple logo. Either way is a good sign that you can release that side button. So there we go. So now we're out of DFU mode. You see the Apple logo and we're good. So here's how to temporarily disable Touch ID on your iPhone SE. Just press and hold the side button until you see the slide to power off dialogue and then tap cancel and now Touch ID is temporarily disabled on your iPhone SE third generation. Okay, finally, let's talk about how to use Emergency SOS. You can find the settings within the settings app. Scroll down until you see Emergency SOS, and here's where you can configure this feature. Now, to use Emergency SOS, you press either of the volume buttons along with the side button. Continue to hold both buttons, and then you'll see in here the countdown like that <laughs> that's going to call emergency services and your emergency contact so obviously don't use this unless there's a real emergency now you can also enable call with five presses so when you press five times in quick succession the side button it will do the same thing count down and folks please don't do this unless it's a real emergency so that is how you manage your iPhone SE third generation, how to enter recovery mode, how to force restart, DFU mode, etc. Let me know down below what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.